Good morning. Good morning. Our family has worshiped at Church of Our Savior since 1987. Our two older sons traveled through the Sunday school program here, and both were confirmed by Bishop Bruno. Our youngest son, Kevin, was baptized here, and our son, Jason, was married here. And in 2006, Father Dennis Opre officiated as we renewed our wedding vows for our 25th anniversary. A few months ago, we laid my mom, Sandy, to rest in the columbarium, where Vaughn and I will join her one day. We love worshiping at Church of Our Savior. We love fellowshipping with all of you. And more importantly, we feel God's presence here all the time. I am sure a lot of you remember from last year how my husband Vaughn shared with all of you that God literally brought our family to its knees when I developed a brain thrombosis after giving birth to our third son, Kevin, in 1997. Once I recovered, I became determined to find some answers. I have had the privilege and joy these past 15 years to study God's words left for us in his Bible. It is where I went after almost dying because I believed it might be the place I could find answers to my many questions. I was tired of doubting God's existence and I just wanted to believe my life had a purpose. A few years in, while studying the Book of Romans, Church of Our Savior invited Hugh Ross, the scientist who started Reasons to Believe, to speak. During his presentation, he explained how the entire universe existed solely to sustain our Earth and solar system. While listening to him, it became crystal clear to me, and I just knew at that moment that God existed. Soon after, I asked God to come into my heart, and I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Over the next few years of study, I found lots of answers, and my faith grew so much stronger. I accepted the fact that there would always be questions I would not get answers for in this life, but I experienced a genuine peace and security I had never felt before. Since I manage the money in our family, every year during Church of Our Savior stewardship campaign, Vaughn would ask me if we could increase our tithing. He really wanted to tithe a full 10%. As we increased our giving, always more than I thought we should or could, to my surprise, God increased our income proportionately. We have always had enough for the necessities and the extras. We have had enough to fully support our son, Jason, for these past two years, and we even had enough to visit the Holy Land several weeks ago with our church family. No matter what we tithe, we always have enough. While we were in Israel, we visited an Episcopal vocational school and came upon a sign on the wall that read, Bloom where God planted you. I started thinking about what this meant. Each of us is living exactly where God had, has planted us. To bloom means to cause to flourish or thrive. By that definition, I have been blooming a lot these past years, I realize. Whenever I encounter a homeless person asking for money, I give them whatever I can. I do this because I think of Jesus Christ and what God tells us, that whatever you do for the least of these, my brethren, you have done unto me. And when I give, I feel great. I feel awesome. I feel I've helped someone, even just a little. To me, blooming means to give of your time, your talents, your tithing. Don't question or second guess whether you should or not. Just do it. The Holy Spirit will multiply all your good works. He will bless you in ways you cannot even imagine, and your efforts will cause others to flourish and thrive. God has planted you at Church of Our Savior, so bloom.